It's an incredibly uh, exciting time at the University of Massachusetts uh, Medical School. One of the things that I respect about our scientific community is its uh, collaborative nature. The collaboration gene is dominantly expressed here at UMass. I think that, uh, that a person who comes to the University of Massachusetts Medical School, whether it's a, a faculty member, or a, one of our students in, in the basic sciences, a medical student or a nursing student, is that they, they come into a community where collaboration is the hallmark of the educational experience. The MD-PhD program at UMass was established in the, in the very late 1980s and uh, at that point it was a very small group of individuals, maybe one or two students per class. It wasn't really structured up until about 10 years ago. Currently we are at about 60 individuals. We are trying to, to accomplish the training of these students in the shortest possible time and research cannot be timed. So the fact that, that actually we can walk down the hall and ask for something that otherwise could take easily six months to establish in my laboratory and being able to give that to an MD-PhD student is going to translate into shortening their training and making them more effective in making scientific discoveries. The culture of the physician scientist is really kind of a, a, a spark to the entire uh, rest of the, uh, of the research community. And that's one of the reasons why some of our most outstanding faculty, uh, like Phil Zaymour, like Melissa Moore, uh, like Craig Mello, have uh, taken MD-PhD students into their labs to do their thesis research. There are just an amazing number of collaborations that go on between clinicians and basic researchers like myself. I have collaborations with the group that works on ALS, uh, headed by Bob Brown. Bob, among others, had discovered that some cases of ALS are caused by mutations in RNA binding proteins, and RNA is my specialty we're working on, trying to understand how these RNA binding proteins regulate their own expression. We are fortunate here to have a remarkable community of highly collaborative, uh, very catalytic, creative scientists who all want to bring their diverse specialty interests to bear on how we understand brain degenerative disorders like ALS. I work on uh, Huntington's disease. We have people here who are truly expert on this. I work with Phil Zaymour and together we figured out ways in which we can knock down or eliminate the mutant gene that causes the disease but keep the normal gene. This is a real strength of uh, UMass, where people work together. We really built a system here which fosters the kind of discovery like RNAi uh, made by Craig Mello here a few years ago that really has changed the world. We've taken that discovery in some of our own work and combined it with a fabulous collaboration with Dave Harlan and other members of the Diabetes Center of Excellence. Uh, putting together a program to really identify genes that might be very valuable in attenuating the autoimmunity that occurs in type 1 diabetes. The combination of exciting new breakthrough technology that really is unique to UMass with this collaborative spirit that we have here at UMass is really a powerful way to make progress. If you look through history at what efforts are successful, it's people who are able to uh, tap into expertise that they don't have. It's uncomfortable to uh, work in areas where you're um, not very knowledgeable, but that's the only way new uh, insights are gained. And this institution, led by people like Dr. Check, but also the leaders of the institution, recognize and foster that interdisciplinary interaction. I knew I wanted to go to medical school, and I interfered at many medical schools. And UMass, I found a really nice environment, uh, very down to earth, um, both in its students and as well as its faculty. My story is a little different. I was a straight MD student. I came to medical school, you know, more of a, a, a lack of understanding of sort of what was available to me and what was out there. Um, so when I became aware of the MD-PhD program, I, you know, immediately looked into it and um, actively, you know, pursued an opportunity to be a transfer into it and I, I was fortunate enough to give, be given the opportunity. The program is fantastic. To be able to find a place that can match um, sort of the clinical curriculum with the sort of high, high degree of highly capable scientists and to be able to learn in that environment 
um, juxtaposed to one another is, I, I found unique. UMass provides a, uh, both an outstanding scientific environment but also a nurturing environment. It's, we're small enough that we can give the personal interactions and you're not just lost in the shuffle. In our lab we're studying mainly antivirals, so HIV, hepatitis C, influenza, but the, the lessons we're learning should be applicable to cancer, to some antibiotics, really across the board. This appeals to a lot of the MD, PhD students because they're doing an MD because they care about medicine, and, but many of them have their roots in, in more physical sciences. After graduation, I knew I was applying to med school, but wanted to do some research in between to kind of boost my science knowledge. Um, so I actually applied here at UMass, and Mark Freeman hired me as his first tech in the lab, which was a wonderful experience. So I got to start the lab from literally empty benches um, up to you know a working scientific program. And during that time, I was applying to med schools and looking at my options. And then when it came down to it, UMass was really, it was a time where it was really growing. Um, things were really happening here. That was something I wanted to be a part of. I think there's just so many resources here at UMass that are accessible to us. You know, there's clinicians who are willing to take you under their wing and show you what they do every day and teach you about their field, their specialty, and why they love what they do. Um, there's researchers who, again, are passionate about what they do and want to show you that. Um, and then more and more we're starting to have those people in the middle who are doing both and who are willing to kind of pull together the two worlds, um, which is something that I'm really looking forward to more of. The future is very bright for these students and I think they can tap into all of the all of the best uh, science that's on this campus. Our training program actually is designed in a way that people not only going to get an MD degree, a PhD degree, actually we get them ready for becoming the leading scientist and, and the leading professional individual in their respective fields. As a student uh, pursuing scientific inquiry, one looks to the mentor that they will have and uh, they'll look to the collaborative experience that exists. They'll also be thinking about their own future, their own future in science, whether it's in the academy or, or in pharmaceutical discovery or elsewhere. One of the things that's limitless about an experience in science at the University of Massachusetts Medical School is that future. Uh, students who come here really do have no boundaries for where their future in science might take them.